now, Skippy. You know, after we got that Sweet 16 out of the way, I knew it was time for Tank, Little Bobby, and I to go over and check out the cage fighting. Are we ready, fellas? Let's go have some fun. My friend Russ, who's the fight promoter of this MMA cage fighting, asked if we'd come on out, hang ringside, and take some of his fighters out in the big limo. You know, my office is my world. I eat, drink, sleep, and limos 24-7, 365. So any chance that I can break away from this crazy world, I can get my own rage out seeing these guys beat the hell out of each other. We're sitting there having a good time at the fight. All of a sudden, I remember the cougar hunt. Sam, give me an update on the cougar tribe. What's up? I'm going to find Trace right now. Don't worry about it. Should be an awesome Hey, Trace. What? You guys are supposed to be on a run right now. I want, I want Fan Fernando to go, too. He's got to get some seed time. Where's Fernando? I, I don't know. Hey, Fernando. Fan Fernando is one of our new drivers. Where's your pants? I had an accident. What happened? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. He's got no pants, Ma Bob. Fernando has no pants on. Where the heck does Bob find these drivers? Here, you, you know what? Just go. Come on. What right now. What am I supposed to do? Right. Go right. Right. Make answer. him drive. You drive and let him get out and open the doors. Right. Take care of this. Hey, hey, here we come. Hey, everybody. I'm late as hell picking up the old people. I get there, and they're drunk. Hey, here we go. Here we go. I got two beautiful ladies. What more can you have? And one guy was so drunk, they had to help him into the limo. Okay? Is everybody okay? Is everybody okay? Everything is Oh, you're doing all right. Beautiful. Yeah, you sure? I get in on the other side. You're good, you're good here. You're good here. Man, old drunk people. Yeah, that's a bad combination. Coming up, they're getting feisty in the back seat. You damn fool. And how many bikers does it take to flip over a limo? This is an emergency. Pretty much wrapped up with that limo for Bob for the safari, and I think it turned out pretty good for for, for the short notice. And uh, I think these kids can have a good time on their cougar safari hunt or whatever's going on. This limo is awesome. I'm telling you, it's totally badass. If I had my choice of building one, mine would be Tiger. I have this thing about tigers. All the inside is all leopard print, cheetah print. Look like a tribe from the Sulu Nation. Don't f it up. I'm running on a limos, man. Where's your pants, man? Don't need no pants. You need pants. This is I'm professional so operation, man. We on a safari hunting for cougars. Hey, I have no idea where the hell I'm at, man. I'm not here in the boonies. I'm lost as hell. Yeah, so I'm trying to drive. I'm lost. You know, have it. You have a telephone. Call Bobby up. Hey, there. hey. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're taking care of all this right now. Yeah, uh, you're no, taking no care of for an hour. You're driving us around here. And I got this old guy in the back yelling at me. I don't even understand what the hell he's saying. He's drunk as hell. I don't think you ever drove a living that long in your entire life, my God. Next thing I know, there's an uprising in the back. Where are we at now? We're out in the middle of nowhere. It's like some kind of geriatric revolt. Weren't you supposed to turn back there? I'm trying to be nice. I don't want to yell at old people. Do you have a GPS? Well, the GPS doesn't work. I don't know. What, are you, what am I supposed to do? Get us home now. I can't find 176. I'm calling. People aren't answering their phone. You damn fool. You know, pick up these kids. They're all wearing safari outfits. And I'm like, what is this? It's his 24th birthday. 24th birthday. This whole thing is he, he likes older women. The only thing I want for my birthday <laughs> is a sweet 40 year old plus cougar. <laughs> As it turns out, these guys have, like, really specific rules about what a cougar is. Quarter of your age plus your age. To me, no, it's not. It's <laughs> yeah, their age it. plus 10. Cougar! 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 Well, the first bar we're going to is called Martini Blue, and I heard it's really just a great cougar hangout. Hey, guys, we're here. You know, the people at the bar aren't liking the idea of our cougar safari hunt very much, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am getting turned down. These 
these guys couldn't catch a cougar if it was stuffed and mounted on a wall. <laughs> Get him out of here. So we're just going to have to move on and go to another bar or something. Oh. Hey, where are we going now? What's next? Round out loud. At least on loud. It's cool. We get kicked out of there. I'm cutting the mother. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I had a great time with the cage fights. At the end of the night, I knew I wanted to take the owner, Russ, and his fighters out with us in a limo. All right, here we go. Come on, fellas. Let's go on a party at my next party. It makes the whole limo life worthwhile. We get to the second bar, and, and this is looking promising. So I looked over to my left, and I, and I saw these bikes, and I'm like, this is a biker bar. Bikers and cougar hunters really are a bad mix. I thought it was definitely a bad idea, but I had to do it with the client once. So where are you from? Do you see a ring of Right here. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, brother, you a limo driver? Yeah. How you doing, man? I'm Brendan Bouncer. We got to get these guys out of here you brought in. This is a biker bar, OK? We got a crew in here now. Uh, they're causing problems with all the old ladies from the bikers. It's going to pop off, and if it pops off, it's going to be bad. I figure I better give Bob a call. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Come on, don't fuck up my night. You know I love this. I got two chauffeurs on his one deal. Can't they just leave me alone for one night? Dude, I don't have time to be with directions. Come on. Bob thinks that we should have this under control because we have two chauffeurs. But we really only have one because Fernando doesn't have pants and he can't get out of the limo. You probably go out to the limo. Have you seen our ride? No. Probably not. What do you got? That's my girl. I'm Get him out of here in the next two minutes. Well, I'm getting him out of here. I hear you. Bouncer comes up to me, and what am I supposed to do? These guys aren't in my limo. They're not my responsibility. When the cougar hunters came out with one of the biker's chicks, things got bad pretty quick. So I tried to get my party back into the limo. I got on the phone with Sam and said, this is an emergency. Sam, yeah, you know, we'll get a problem here. Can't we just have a limo go out this weekend without something going wrong? You know, I get a call from Sam. Now Sam? it's really hitting the fan. Sam, Sam, we're out of the way. We're out of the way. Driver, let's get a move on. We're a couple miles away, and I just decide at that point, the hell with it. Let's just go straight there. Fan, anyone with these limos is going to be hell to pay, Russ. <laughs> Coming up. The only thing I can see is a load of bikers rocking my 40 foot long H2 Hummer. Like they're trying to tip it over. We pull up to this bar. The only thing I can see is a load of bikers rocking my 40 foot long H2 Hummer. It was the clash of the titans. As soon as we get the bikers to bag off, I got the cougar hunters out of her as soon as they could. And we got our asses in our limo and got the hell out. You better catch Eddie. So after driving all over the place, I finally found a damn road and got the old people back home. You know what? I can't believe it all worked out. Yeah, that's another weekend in the can. You got to be ready for these Saturdays in this business. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs>